Hello YouTube, this is the dirtiest workspace you've ever seen in your life. Uh, you can comment on my teddy bear if you like. Any case, I got my TV unplugged here. It's a Panasonic. Uh, Panasonic TP, I'm sorry, TCP 50 GT30. You can see right there. So, you can see the back's off because guess what I have? I have the seven lights of death. The man that brought you red light of death is now bringing you the seven lights of death. And all badness that can really happen, I think, can happen here. But in any case, here is the back of the uh, TV. And really, there's so there's a few things that go wrong. I probably shouldn't have turned it on before I told you guys this, but this is the SU, I think. Uh, let's see here. This is the SD board right here. And you can tell that because right there, yeah, there it is. It says SD. And then here is the SC board, which is the biggest board. And you can tell that because guess what? It also says SC in various places. Uh, biggest one being right there. And this is the SU board. And you can tell that because it also says SU. Then, those, so those three boards kind of sometimes go bad in these TVs. Then the other one that sometimes goes bad is this P board. So that's great too. And then you have your A board, which I think is the most expensive one. I don't know for sure. That one's like $50. That one's like 60 or 70. I've, I've seen quotes of this one about 100. So, there is that board. It has all your ports on there. All right, so, when we power this bad boy on, or when we try to anyways, see if I can get the camera right here. Get the red light on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven so the dreaded seven lights of death so, so next you're gonna need to grab a multimeter I don't need to grab somebody to help me with this but I'm gonna grab a multimeter we're gonna test this we can test two points on here we're gonna test this oh I don't know if I can get close enough it's called TP82 oh I'm sorry it's this one right here it's TP82 and then it is C151. It's right there. Or 561, excuse me. 561. C561. Right there below SC20. So now I got somebody to help me. We're going to plug the TV back in. Throw the camera now. And she is going to hit the power button for me as well as record. What? So, take a knee right there. Maybe we should have ran through this a little bit. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to touch these two. I told you guys about, and this is SC82 right over here. I got my multimeter, and I'm going to touch SC or uh, not SC. I'm sorry, T82, and I'm all turned upside down. There, TP82 right there. I'm going to touch a ground, which is the most convenient one is this screw. So I'm going to touch these two. And now the manual said we should get a reading of 15 volts. So, okay, go ahead and hit the power button, Tori. Now we've got the multimeter, and it says 15.5 volts. So I'm going to have her hold that power button again. I want to repeat that. Go ahead and hit the power button for us again, Tori. And we do. We have the 15 and a half volts. So that's good. All right. Then our next connector is the C5, C5 six foot one, and that one is the closest to the ribbon cable. That's the positive side right there that I'm touching. So I'm gonna have Tori unplug the TV and plug it back in. Then hit the power button. I didn't turn it off. It's okay. It's off. It turns itself off. Okay. Now. Oh, you can already see the five volts come up. That's correct. 
Now it turns itself back off. And that proves that it is not this PCB. Or it is not the P board. So since we've ruled out the P board and we've ruled out the S since we've ruled out the P board and we've ruled out the SC board, as well as the SU and the SD, we know it is the expensive A board. Hey YouTube, this is El Scheiser. This video quality is terrible. Alright, now it's better. Uh, back with you finally to talk about this freaking Panasonic TCP 50 GT30 repair. Uh, I actually, so the last time I left you this video, I, I said that I thought this might be the culprit. Well, after doing some more research, I realized this was probably the culprit. I took it off, and I think I have some pictures of them all attached with this video. In any case, uh, this thing is burnt the hell up, or it was. And these transistors here and, <coughs> and here were all uh, uh, shorted. They were dead short. And the way you know that is you hook your uh, ohm meter up to these two leads and it showed a dead short, zero ohms. And so anytime you have a dead short in electronics, that's obviously not good. So people are going to get mad. I have a pretty nice heat gun and I heated the board up to about 500 degrees I just pulled those little guys off and I know I know you're not supposed to do that that's what I did I don't have any fancy uh, stuff for soldering as you might be able to tell and these guys are tiny here's the ones that I took off these are the broken ones and you can tell not even a half inch by a half inch they are small so uh, I ordered my parts from a website called chopjimmy.com. They're really good. Uh, excellent. It was about $20 for these parts. And now my, well, what I bought it, about $1,000 TV is now working. So, uh, things worth noting in this repair, maybe uh, these ribbon cables. Make sure you get these in right. If you don't, it's no big deal. You'll turn your TV on, you'll have strange lines going across. You'll be like, damn, it's broke still. It's not broke. You're good. Just uh, some minor repair going on. You know, some just some squeezing this little guy in there. I use like some very small pliers for that, or uh, some I don't know cro crooked pliers. I don't know what to call those. In any case, that was the repair. Uh, I'll power it on now to show you that it works. Sorry about the camera movement here. TV's kind of heavy being a plasma. Turn it on. The error connect comes up. <coughs> That's the other thing I wanted to mention is it's a good idea to go ahead and uh, update the driver or the uh, software on this computer because that's what's broken. So there's my desktop. I just have it hooked up to my PC, which is right there. And there it is. Another thing worth noting, a lot of very small screws. Make sure you have somewhere to keep those. Those are for the back of the television. All right, uh, so another successful repair. And feel free to comment, subscribe, uh, like this video if it helped you. Uh, message me if you need help or something. I'll do my best to get back with you. Thanks for watching.